in this video guys we'll be revising about the ovarian tumor so this is a very high yield topic for all the exams and even for the path in the aspect of path or you can consider it as a part of gynae so we are going to start it now okay so first we'll see about what are the features that are seen like histopath like if that is written you can clear cut come to a diagnosis or if the tumor marker is asked these are the most common mcqs that is asked okay so see first is the call axonar body and coffee bean nuclei okay both are seen in granulosa cell tumor so how will you remember it first call the granny and coffee granules means you can remember it like it is seen in granulosa cell tumor now coming on to the ciliar dual body which is seen in endodermal sinus tumor also known as york sac tumor so how will you remember it just remember the mnemonic yes okay Y is for the yolk sac, E is for endodermal sinus tumor, and S is for ciliar dual body, okay, which is also known as glomeruloid body. Okay, now coming on to the next one, Rinkes crystal, which is seen in hyalus cell tumor. Okay, now coming on to the Samuma bodies. This everyone knows Samuma body is seen in serous epithelial tumor. Now coming on to the Brenner's tumor. Okay, so Brenner's tumor show you th two things. One is the nest. Okay, one is the Walther's well nest, and it shows you coffee bean nuclei. Okay, it shows you coffee bean nuclei. Okay, now coming on to the signet ring cell that is seen in Krukenbach's tumor. See, I have shown a photo here. See, this is a gross photo. There is bilateral enlarged ovary. Okay, do you see both the ovaries are enlarged and there is meta mets, mets from somewhere else. See, how does it look like on a histopath? It appears, see this photo. It appears it is a mucin failed structure. Okay, and it has pushed the nucleus towards the end. See, does it look actually the same thing? Now coming on to the clear cell tumor shows the presence of hobnail cell. But when do we see clear cell tumor? They have a classical history of diethyl still bestrol exposure. Now coming on to the dysgerminoma, like the male counterpart of which is the seminoma. So how do you identify? There is there are tumor cells, okay, and around the tumor cells are white spaces are seen, and there is fibrous septa in which lymphocytes have infiltrated the septa okay next next page i'll show you the images now coming on to the teratoma teratoma shows all the structure means so it has skin teeth cartilage everything i'll show you the histopath and the gross image now okay now coming on to the tumor markers of the tumor so afp afp alpha fetus protein that is seen in york sac tumor or the immature teratoma now coming on to the beta scg beta scg is seen in koyu carcinoma now coming on to the ldh and plap that is seen in the, this germinoma if we talk about the immunohistochemistry marker we have oct3 oct4 sal4 nanog ckit also known as cd117 now coming on to the CA125, it is seen in epithelial tumor and inhibin seen in granulosa cell tumor. Also it is positive for CD99, okay. And we have an extra S point here that Dyson 1 mutation is seen in Sachs cord stromal tumor. Now coming on to the histopath image, what do you see here? See guys, first we have a photo of call external body. So how do you, it is uh, found in? granulosa cell called the granny okay so how do you identify it okay there is uh, amorphous eosinophilic material that is pass positive inside and surrounding it we have also we have coffee bean nuclei and granulosa cells are seen okay now coming on to the next one okay so what does this photo this looks like a glomerulus see there is a blood vessel in the center okay and there is and there is a tumor cells okay this is the one row of tumor cells and this is the other row of tumor cells and there is a clear space around it so how does this looks like see this looks like a glomerulus hence this is known as Schiller dual body or glomeruloid body now coming on to the next one see you can see the crystals so it means it's a ring case crystal seen in hyalus cell tumor now coming on to the next one this Brenner tumor okay this Brenner tumor you have to remember this epithelium is similar to the bladder this is an important point okay and see you can see nest of tumor cells can be seen and also here also you can see coffee bean nuclei so 
when you talk about the ovarian tumor there are two places where you see coffee bean nuclei can you guys recall one is the collax nerve bodies that in granulosa cell tumor there also another is the brainer tumor now coming on to the see this is the classical image that you will find almost everywhere okay see you can see here also you can see teeth also so everything can be seen see if you see the image you have a smooth muscle tissue you have mature bone bone tissue and also immature cartilage chondrocytes are seen okay now coming on to the next one that is seminoma seminoma means uh, almost the similar finding is seen in this germinoma so how does see there are tumor cells which have clear space around it okay and you see there are fibrous septa which shows infiltration of lymphocytes see this is the fibrous septa and this blue colored are the lymphocytes okay so guys that's all about we need to know about the ovarian tumor hope this helps you guys if you like it please consider subscribing like comment share